So here we are in a LEGO Ren Fair that actually has some really good music. Wow. Wh what the hell, Pepper? <laughs> Look, this lady is just mildly impatient and wants to play a minigame. Why are you yelling at her about it? Pepper is really getting into this. He is totally all about the Ren Fair. I don't even know why he doesn't already have a pass for the fairy here. Like, see, he's even trying to do the fake Elizabethan speech. And it's very, very fake. But here's the first of three minigames here on this island. And, uh, yeah, it's a game where we get to throw stuff at people. That sounds pretty fun, right? Also, apparently, for some reason, this game's a little different in that you can choose a side. And obviously, Pepper is going to join the ones that look like the good guys, because he would not join the evil knights, and, um... That, that looks very unfortunate. Uh, by which, of course, I mean, uh, that, that is some gross-looking custard. It's probably made with lard or something, seriously. Just disgusting stuff, but anyway, yeah, depending on what side you choose, that's what targets you have to hit. Uh, I'm hitting the evil guys, because they are... The, I, I chose the good guys, or what I assumed was the good guys. These guys are the lions, the bad guys are the bull guys, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, that's how it works. Also, for some reason, Pepper's face is also there, and he's wearing armor, I guess. But no matter what, you never hit yourself, because why would you do that? That's another reason why I'm fairly certain that Pepper comes here fairly often, uh, is because his face is actually one of the targets. And maybe they hate him, and that's why it is a target, but he's never actually caught on. Like, they don't like him here, so they, they put his face here so that people would hit him. He's the target yeah, you have to hit all the time, but Pepper himself doesn't know that. And I guess I got a high score. And for some reason, that gets us a toll bridge coin. That's a fantastic reward. I lied. And you can't transform the flowers, apparently. And I don't know, dude. Don't ask me. enemy to not cross the bridge. Come on, what kind of Ren Fair is this? You're not even making excuses well enough. Oh, the bridge is gone, so, uh, we're trapped in enemy territory, yeah! So, here's my other least favorite minigame, and, uh, as a kid, this one kind of terrified me. I don't know if I was terrified of, like, deep sea stuff before or after this. I think before, but this didn't help. So basically, we have to find the parts for the bridge, uh, as well as con- Wow, you just sort of tanked that cannonball, but, uh, anyway, yeah, you have to look for the pieces of the bridge, and also construct a Pedia page, but that'll be easy. Uh, that little terrible-looking bar at the bottom is your oxygen meter, and when it runs out, you lose the game, and you have to try again. Have to be very careful of obstacles, and also, down here is why I hated this minigame. Uh, there is this cartoony-looking giant crab right here who is basically doing absolutely nothing to halt your progress. And yet, for some reason, that thing terrified me when I was a kid. I did not want to play this minigame at all, but you do need to do it to progress. I, I don't like that crab. So yeah, for the, for the longest time I wasn't actually able to do anything here because I just refused to go down to this area. I could get the other bricks just fine, but no, oh, there's a crab there, that guy's scary. <laughs> Seriously though, it's not the most difficult mission though. To be fair, I did mess this up once because stuff like this happens. That jellyfish traps you in it, and, of course, if you get hit, you drop your brick, and depending on how high up you are, this thing can fall very, very far. And sometimes it even, like, bounces even lower than you'd think it would go. The cannonball is probably one of the biggest things they have to look out for, just because you never quite know when that thing's gonna fire. Though Pepper, again, is apparently just fine taking a hit. He is completely unf- well, not completely unfazed, but mostly unfazed okay. by that cannonball. 
just goes, ow, that kind of hurt, and then he just moves on his merry way. <laughs> Took a cannonball to the leg, but ah, whatever. I'll just keep going. My entire leg has been shattered, but I'll just okay. get myself a new set of legs. That's what I do when I'm a Lego. Oh, now I need another one. God, I'm gonna have to replace a lot of these things. Oh, the anchor is also problematic. This thing sucks because of the way it swings, and I'm pretty sure it can still make you drop your brick. Sharks are pretty bad. Okay, you know what? Everything in this mission sucks, alright? That's what I'm trying to get at. Oh, dear. So, those manta rays will electrocute you when you get too close, and for some reason, Pepper has bones that you can see, you know, it's that little uh, cartoony effect where you get electrocuted and you can see some skeleton. I'm pretty sure Legos don't have skeletons. I mean, they're Lego skeletons, but they're not inside the minifigures, as far as I know. Did you know there's a skeleton inside your minifigure? Right okay. now! I bet I just blew everyone's mind. Oh! Gonna need a new torso now! Oh, jeez. <laughs> How's that thing even aiming? Oh yeah, and that looks like a wall, but it isn't. But seriously, who is aiming that thing? It is just a sentient frickin' cannon that is out for blood and does not particularly like Pepper. I mean, to be fair, I share that opinion. But, I want him to stop shooting me. It would be very nice. And that's the mission done. I guess I could have done better, but that score seems kind of arbitrary like most of the other scores. And yeah, for some reason there's no other reward other than that jail page that you have to pick up, so I don't know why you have to collect it in the mission. Oh my. I, I didn't even know that Legos could sweat, but if, if you're into it, whatever. We'll just see about that. Uh, if only Dark, <laughs> if only Dark Knight Senpai would notice me. Oh, Pepper, you are so very deep. You, you just you're you're teaching me so many things about life. Oh, what really? She won't notice you, Dark Knight. Are, are you in love with that guy, but he won't notice you? Is this a Senpai circle? I really hope it is. I haven't seen one of those before. Alright, sure, I don't know how you know his name is Jeffrey, but whatever. Yeah, well, yeah, that means something. All right, let, let, let's do this thing. We're gonna have a duel with the Dark Knight, and it's gonna be really cool and stuff. Alright, yeah, let, let's do it. I'm so ready. Let's do this thing. That didn't exactly work. Let's uh, rewind that and try it again. Okay, that worked a bit better that time. All right, what, what what's our score? All right, I could have done better, uh, I, I guess, if I hadn't screwed it up the first time. But then again, isn't it so much cooler that we went two rounds? Oh, hi, wizard, how's it going? Uh, you came out of nowhere, quite literally. And you look very out of place. Like, even compared to everything else. I don't get the joke. It's probably a reference or something. I can't disagree with that. What's better than the coat, Pepper? But why'd we say poof? What's going on? 